Well, to continue, um, at the successful completion of uh, some kind of raid, there were those that complained because um, some had actually been part of the, um, the um, front lines and other people stayed back to protect uh, what was um, precious to the people at the time. And when the spoil was to be divided, the people that were at the front lines complained um, that they were at the front lines and those people at the other side had uh, somehow not contributed as much. And David interceded on their behalf, apparently part of his reasoning skills. And he said that, um, well, no, they, they did participate. Uh, they guarded all this stuff against anybody coming in behind you guys doing your thing over there. So, of course, they get to share in the booty, and, uh, you know, um, they were an equal target. They just were protecting the base camp from the people you were going after. Uh, you know, they may have wanted to do a, a supplemental raid, and they, these people were protecting it. So, um, everybody shares alike in this. Uh, and that grumbling, uh, there's no place. Listen, there's absolutely no place for grumblers to step up and quarter arm I'm sure quarterback those that stepped up and took pictures now there's just absolutely no reason for them to do that uh, you know I almost missed the point of the video in talking about the sidetrack thing good news in the Bronx is uh, interesting news on on um, um, the world front the United States um, through President Donald John Trump signed into a proclamation uh, in the year of our Lord, March 25th, year of our Lord, 2019. Now, he's talking about the Lord from Common Era, 2019 years earlier. And I call him Yeshua, you can call him Jesus, but the idea is that the power of those words, words mean things, words mean something, and uh, he's conveyed the power of the written word to Israel to proceed now uh, as a sovereign over that dirt a lot of that dirt was purchased and then uh, you know fought over and it's been purchased back and forth uh, probably for millennia and uh, uh, you know the Ottomans came in and then they they just kind of left it alone and uh, Saladin came in and he did his thing but uh, the, the, the interesting thing is that Eastern Gate is going to get opened at some point and uh, I've already asked them to do that um, and I'll ask him again. Uh, the Goel has directed me to tell him that, so you do with that with what you will. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, thanks for tuning into this series of videos. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. The video quality is probably kind of weird. I'm playing with the camera. Um, but it's the same audio signal. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Shalom.